Hi, Dr. Eric Desmond here. Today we're going to continue our series of Mythbusters and talk about myths about liposuction. Now the first myth we're going to talk about is whether or not liposuction is a good procedure for weight loss. And liposuction is not a weight loss procedure. It is a body contouring procedure. And one of the reasons for that is, is that fat itself is not very dense. If you think about it, when you have some soup and there's a little fat on the top, the fat floats. It's not very dense. And so fat takes up a large volume, but doesn't weigh very much. And in fact, this representation of fat, if this were real fat, would only weigh about three pounds, yet it takes up a huge amount of volume and taking off this much fat would make a major change in your contour. So fat is not very dense, it doesn't weigh very much, and liposuction is really meant for people who have normal body weight or close to normal body weight with specific areas that have contour issues. Now you can't spot reduce weight loss when you do crunches or side leg raises to get rid of fat in your hips, but that's exactly what liposuction can do. It can spot reduce fat in certain areas and improve your contour. So liposuction is not a weight loss procedure, it's a body contouring procedure. So another myth we're gonna talk about is the myth that because fat cells are permanently removed with liposuction, you can eat whatever you want after surgery and you won't gain weight. And the fact is, is that yes, it's true, with liposuction, fat cells are permanently removed, but it is not true, it is a myth, that you can't gain weight after surgery. You need to maintain a healthy diet and a healthy lifestyle because the fat cells that remain can still enlarge if you take in too much food. So it's important to remember that this is not a weight loss procedure and you have to be careful after surgery to maintain your weight so that you don't gain weight after surgery. Another myth we're gonna talk about is that liposuction treats cellulite and can get rid of cellulite dimpling in the skin. And that's just not so. Cellulite is caused by fibrous bands that are underneath the skin that are stretched out by fat that's underneath the skin and the fibrous bands pull on the skin and the fat stretching the skin around that causing that dimpling and that irregular contour. Liposuction removes fat but it doesn't address those fibrous bands and typically liposuction for the most part is done at a slightly deeper level than those fibrous bands. And for those reasons, liposuction does not treat cellulite. So another myth we're gonna talk about is the myth that liposuction is not for older people. And the results of liposuction depend upon two things. And most people understand the first concept with liposuction is that we're actually removing fat from underneath the skin and that changes the contour of your body, of your tissues. Now the other part of liposuction that's important is that after the fat is removed, the skin needs to tighten up and that depends upon the elasticity of your skin. And your skin in different parts of your body has different levels of elasticity. The looseness of your skin is different on the back of your hand versus on your belly and in other parts of your body. So it's not really age dependent as to whether or not you're a good candidate for liposuction. It's really whether or not you've got the elasticity in your skin to tighten up after the fat is removed. And different people have different elasticities, and that's partly dependent upon age, but it's also partly dependent upon genetics. It's dependent upon whether or not you've had weight gain and weight loss in the past, whether or not you have stretch marks in the skin. So there's a bunch of different factors. It's not just about age. It's about the quality of the tissues as to whether or not you're a good candidate for liposuction in a specific area. Another myth we're gonna talk about today is that liposuction is really intended for women. And that's just not so. In fact, when you look at the American Society of Plastic Surgeons statistics, liposuction is one of the most five common surgical procedures for both women and men. Now men, when they get liposuction, tend to get it in either the love handles, abdomen or the chest. Those are the most common areas for men to get liposuction. But men, in fact, do get liposuction, and it's a very popular procedure for men. 
Another myth that we're going to talk about today is that laser liposuction is the best technology to do liposuction with. And that's just not so. There are a variety of different techniques and technologies that can be used in a liposuction procedure. There's laser liposuction, there's ultrasonic liposuction, there's safe liposuction. All of these are various different techniques and all the different techniques have advantages and disadvantages. The most important thing that impacts your outcome and your result is the experience of your surgeon more so than the technology or technique that's used. And the final myth we're going to talk about today is that non-surgical liposuction procedures or fat-reducing procedures give you the same results as surgical procedures. Now there are things like cool sculpt or M sculpt that a lot of people have heard about and those procedures can reduce contour and can get rid of some fat, but they don't get the same exact results as surgical liposuction. They can't get as dramatic of a result. They can't treat as much fat as a surgical procedure can. So those techniques and technologies have a role, but they're not equivalent to surgical liposuction and they can't achieve the same things that surgical liposuction can achieve.